framing is starting to come together for this little alcove that's going to house the pantry and the refrigerator. So he's got this wall all set, it looks like. Top to bottom, and then he's got to just close in this last little spot here. And put a couple of rafters in up here. See, he's already cut the wood out so it has an even ceiling with the rest of it. If I come around here, you see what I mean? So there's the bottom of the rafters. He's got that cut out. So he's still got to put some ceiling rafters in. And this wall right here. And then this wall will be done. In this area here, I'm going to start taking the wall plates off so I can get access to the cabling that runs down through the wall. So that'll involve cutting the sheetrock from the bottom up, disconnecting the staples that hold it against the studs, and then pulling everything out of the outlets. Because now we're going to have to route the power for the washer and dryer out of this room and into the new area over here. And a wall on the wires, probably down underneath the joists here, or, and then against this wall here. Right now it's 2 o'clock on Tuesday afternoon. I'm heading off to work, and we had a good day today. We got a nice little snowstorm, and I woke up at, oh, about 7.30 to use the bathroom, and I noticed I had a text from Steve the Carpenter that Kyle the electrician was going to be at the house at 8 a.m. So I had half an hour to clear the driveway. We had a little snowstorm last night. So I saddled up, got on my boots and my gloves and my jacket and started clearing the driveway so Kyle could get his truck in there. Steve showed up at 8 o'clock right when Kyle did and we got into the area where he needed to do the work. And we had a little powwow, got our strategy uh, together and Kyle was off and running. He's, he's there today to do what's called a rough-in. That's where you run uh, circuits from the circuit box along where, you know, whatever route you need to take and you push it up through the walls into the space that needs to the, the electrical service. So we had, a, I think, a total of eight circuits to put in and he got busy roughing those in. Now, the, the roughing does not include any actually actual switches or outlets or covers. It's just the the outlet boxes and the wires that go to them and then he splices into those boxes if he has to run multiple leads like say a switch that would go to a ceiling light that would have multiple lights that would uh be roughed in as well so he's busy doing that and we're glad oh you know what i can't park here because there's cones <clears throat> hold on all right let me go over this way. I see some safety cones. I think they're going to get a gasoline delivery. So I think I got to leave some room for the truck to get in there. All right. All right. So I'm going to pick this up in a minute. I'm going to shut this down and go get some coffee. I'm going to need coffee today big time. So I had gotten out of work at 2 a.m. Got to bed by 3 a.m. So I got about five hours of sleep. That's That should be enough, right? <laughs> Maybe not, we'll see later on today when I'm at work. But anyways, I digress. So uh, Steve will be back tomorrow to finish framing in that wall, and then Kyle will be back before too long and finish the rough in. And then we're good to go to put the subfloor in and start working on sheetrock. 